what's going on everybody i'm back again with another vlog and today i'm going to be exploring a neighborhood uh called clinton hill here in brooklyn new york it's a neighborhood that a lot of people they don't venture much about but i think it's a really cool neighborhood i found out about this neighborhood a couple of years ago when i was doing a video about myrtle avenue all the way to queens and i passed through the neighborhood i'm like wow this is an amazing neighborhood so far you're gonna see around it doesn't disappoint it has a lot of history a lot of beautiful architecture brownstone buildings pretty much like a booking high style but this is like less touristy you know and it's good to walk around so i'm gonna take you guys to show the neighborhood which is not pretty big so join me there's a couple of main streets in the neighborhood like fulton avenue also ends up all the way by Myrtle Avenue. That's like literally like the ending of the neighborhood. So like I say, it's, it's only like a couple of streets, but then it falls all the way a few avenues up. So I'm gonna make my way deep forward and see what the neighborhood has to offer. So as soon as you get off the train and make, I don't know, a left, you can see the neighborhood doesn't disappoint. So you can see a lot of beautiful brownstone buildings. Like I really love the entrance of the buildings over here. Then you got an avenue like this and a quiet street. And of course, like many neighborhoods in New York City, like if you go in streets like this, it's quiet, but then when you make it to the main avenue, it's pretty busy, which it was when I got off the subway stop. I saw a lot of high school students hanging out around, but then you take a city street like this, and I say a lot of neighborhoods in Brooklyn is like this. So Brooklyn is pretty big, and I think it's the most populous ball in New York City. But yeah, we're gonna keep going forward to see what else can we find. Then here I'm making it to Fulton Street. Which is stands all the way to downtown Brooklyn. They even got like a shopping center. Then that's like a beautiful street art over there. And I feel like an outdoor dining. They're doing some repairs. But then you can see the difference from a quiet street to a main street like this. With a lot of shops and restaurants. And here's the supermarket. Key food. It's also like a brand here around different neighborhoods in New York City. So I'm just going to walk around. And there's a barber shop with a beautiful mural. Yeah, I love the art over here. I also saw a mural of Notorious B.I.G. which is from, he's from bed -Stuy. But yeah, this is like an underrated neighborhood in Brooklyn. And this is one of the main streets. So I shortcut over here. Because I don't know, it's like everywhere I walk in this neighborhood, it's just worth taking a view. Good thing the neighborhood's not big, but if I could, I could walk every single street in the neighborhood to show you what's going on. It's like over here you walk and then you can see this nice beautiful houses. Which they offer sale, it's actually townhouse. But yeah, look. And this is like kind of similar like to a duplex. It's like two houses in one. Then across from me you got like the older looking houses with the beautiful architecture. Yeah, but this one's really really nice over here. Really scenic. Then over here a little tiny plaza and I can see construction ahead of me. And I think the neighborhood probably changed a lot throughout the years. But yeah, that's one thing that's happening all over Brooklyn, you know. I think the only neighbors that still keeps like their own tradition in Brooklyn is Brownsville and East New York. But yeah, this year has a lot of development going on. This is another nice street here with townhouses. Yeah, I gotta say I really like, you know, the way how they build up. The history and all that and all the brownstones. And then an another interesting thing I want to tell you that this street literally divides Clinton Hill and I think in this side is best Stuyvesant, which I made a video also in this neighborhood. Really cool. And they're pretty good, you know, they're really good with the views too, but yeah, it's one thing about this neighborhood that really connects with a lot of neighborhoods in Brooklyn and this street is one of the samples of how they're developing the neighborhood yeah, you can see how they're building like new apartments over here and then across from me over here you can see they're leasing some brand new yeah I believe they're condos too nice looking buildings I know the mirrors are a little bit small so it kind of looks like a prison <laughs> but yeah Quincy and here you got another one and it has its own parking spot I believe in the first floor and then up in a neighborhood like this and then a block down is actually best style but yeah that's one example not only in this neighborhood but in many other neighborhoods in brooklyn and all over the balls in new york city the way how they change it and they miss the old architecture with the new architecture so and then my impressions about the neighborhood is pretty cool and it's pretty pretty residential area you know a lot of apartment complex 
and I guess it's like an up and a coming neighborhood, you know, it's changing a lot. And then a lot of the streets are pretty scenic, good for pictures. And I like it also when they have it with the trees, you know, covering the road. But it was still in winter, so you're not gonna see the leaves yet. But maybe like in a month, a month and a half, you're gonna start seeing the flowers coming out because spring season is coming soon and the weather's gonna get better. But yeah. And hopefully when the weather gets better, you know, I can start making more and more videos because it motivates me more when the weather's nice. And then this is some different type of apartment looking that I've seen in New York. Different from the regular brownstones, but pretty nice. It looks like they developed them, you know. Like I say, this is like a playground or brick building architecture, like all kinds of styles. And then they got like little shops in different corners. I believe this is like a shop here, or like a restaurant. People are eating here. And I think that like in this area, it's a little bit more gentrified than where I started. And I believe so because I see a Starbucks across the street. And you see a little shop like this, which is pretty nice. Actually, I see a Cuban flag, so maybe it's like a coffee shop. I don't know. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Got a pink color. It's actually a coffee shop. I believe it's Cuban coffee. And then across over here, and you get this, like the playground of architecture you know and like I say there's no leaves now but when the trees come out and in the fall season I know it's gonna be really beautiful the street and I gotta say the weather you can't really judge it for winter is pretty nice but I've been out for a while now and I'm starting to feel a little bit cold but tomorrow's gonna be like a 60 degree weather which is still February and then in a few days it's just gonna go back down again so that's another thing you want to keep in mind you know in the city like the weather it becomes like really bipolar and this turns into St. James also like beautiful buildings there's also some nice ones here then I'm gonna make a turn over here and I think there might be like a main street ahead of me and there's a couple around but then admire this pretty nice also this neighborhood has like a college called Pratt Institute it's right here and I'm probably gonna walk ne next to it you know in a couple of minutes there's a lot of universities around Brooklyn and then there's a beautiful cathedral over here across the street nice cathedral with a high-rise building over here yeah and then I can see the development of downtown Brooklyn over there one of the tallest buildings in Brooklyn is being left over there. I don't, I don't know if you can see it with that little building over there. And as small as Clinton Hill is, it's pretty diverse. You could get tall buildings like this one and then brownstones like that with new condos being developed. And of course, a lot of shops. And the best thing is going to be in Myrtle Avenue, which that's how I found out about this neighborhood where they got all those hipster vibes, you know. A lot of mixture of architecture and beautiful shops. And for some reason, the street is pretty interesting because you got a really tall building like this. And then the way out of the sidewalk is set up with the cobblestones, but then just brownstones across the street. And like I say, most of the neighborhood is residential, but it's really fun to walk around. Then this over here is DeKalb Avenue, which is the main avenue here in Brooklyn that goes all the way to downtown. And right next to me is Pratt Institute. Not sure if it's gonna get more interesting when I walk a little forward, but yeah. This is what's happening right now. And this is private, so I don't think you can really walk inside, you know, unless you're a student or for some reason you got like a permit, but yeah, you get an idea what the institute looks like. Pratt, DeKalb Avenue Gate. And that's like the entrance over there, you can walk that way. This over here is Clinton Avenue and this street is pretty interesting. It's like different than any other streets I see around New York because it has a wide sidewalk and then you can see look at this a nice house around here. At some point it kind of reminds me a little bit of Crown Heights like I can see a little bit of that here and then here is beautiful too and I'm gonna walk to a Main Street Myrtle Avenue which it goes all the way to Ridgewood Queens which I made a video about that um yeah like two years ago when the pandemic was hitting like really strong, I still went there. But I think this is actually like a college, so that's why you see like a lot of people walking out, a lot of young people. 
But yeah, I really like the sidewalks here. Mixed with the architecture. So yeah, but let's walk forward and see what can we find. Then across to the other side. Burns Hall. And then look at this one over here. With all the trees and everything. Pure history, you know? Right here in Clinton Hill. And across the street there's more. And you can see the development of downtown Brooklyn in the background. All the high-wide skyscrapers. Yeah, I like the entrance over there. It's really nice. This one here is good too. It has its own backyard. Then here you can see the busyness of Myrtle Avenue, which I'm approaching, and where all the cycling in this neighborhood happens. So we're gonna walk around a little bit. So here you can see well, a lot of the business happens and it kind of resembles a little bit of the main streets around Park Slope in Brooklyn. You got like a Thai restaurant. And a couple of shops over here and then more and then a tall bell and another bell over there. It's a coffee shop. The bakery and goods and everything and they, and they got food and lunch. Pretty wide sidewalks, you know, not much happening today, but I guess in the summertime it gets like really busy. I just pass a barber shop to my right hand. So like I say, you know, it's a little little bit of everything. Here's a halal spot. And halal is pretty big here in New York City. One of my favorite type of food too, like halal. You must see them all around the city with the, with the uh, street food. But yeah, they also got like their own restaurants. And then juice bar, but it's also popular in New York City. You're gonna find them all over. And then this is like new development, which I discovered this when I was doing, like I say, my Myrtle Avenue video. It's like all high-rise building, but then they got like, you know, business in the first floors like a key food supermarket then they got like a medical center and then they got more and more development happening over here and a new apartment complex over here yeah when i saw all of this i'm like wow this neighborhood is cool so i had to google a little bit more about clinton hill and then here i am making a video about it about the neighborhood like i said it's not big but i think it's really really underrated and it has a lot to offer so and then yeah Medical urgent red, medical urgent care center. Pretty much like they got city MD all over New York City and some parts of North Jersey. They got Met right right here. So and then more business over here in the first floor. So yeah, it makes the neighborhood you know really really cool. Like I said, you never go hungry no matter where you live in New York City or where you visit because there's a tons of restaurant you know for you to explore. Like if you're a foodie, you know. You can check it out. You can just walk around, maybe find a little bit more information, and if you like it, you know, enjoy. And actually, this new building is part of Pratt Institute. So this is probably like the first part or the behind part, you know, which I was showing the other side of it. And I think this area is like more developed than where I started my tour of this neighborhood. Because most of the buildings here, they're like brand new, and then you can see they're building a tall one over there. So yeah. Yeah, new building over here, a deli in the first floor. Like a modern deli, not like the old fashioned way. Then the neighborhood goes all the way there, then it ends up. But yeah, gives you a vibe, you know, an idea what the neighborhood looks like. So I'll give you a 360 view over here. And all of this is like modern building. So this is like probably like the newer part. And then this is like a brand new burger I am. They have it in Jersey City too, and some parts of New York City. And I tried some of the burgers and it's really good. I had one of the, falafel burgers i guess it's like a vegan style but it was really good so so that was the end of my videos point clinton hill here in brooklyn new york i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more be safe out there everybody god bless y'all and peace